Tonight, the two investigators exposed the candy man scam. You've seen them, young children being used to sell candy all across Chicago and the suburbs. But who is really profiting? Is it charity or is it a scam? CBS 2's Dave Savini has been investigating these candy operations and uncovered allegations of child exploitation in this original report. Dave. Robin Kate, the charities these kids claim to be working for turned out to be bogus. So we tracked down the men in charge. Tell me what you're selling. I'm selling devil's food, chocolate cookie cake, peanut juice. We found them soliciting in the name of charity. European cookies. You just kind of give them $5 and you hope it's going towards a good cause, which when you find out it's not, it's disappointing. Is it a charity? Yeah. But who's really behind these candy kids? Where's the guy that's supposed to be picking you up? He says he's working for this man. They both took off when we asked for credentials. Would you explain for me why you ran if you're a real charity? In suburban neighborhoods like this, we found they had similar sales pitches. But in each case, we couldn't find any legitimate charity. Instead, we found children being used by adults with lengthy criminal records, allegedly exploiting them to make money. I guess we should need to be more suspicious, which is sad, yeah. um, of people coming to the door claiming to represent charities. And the guys just dropped you off and you work in the neighborhood? Yeah. How old are you? He handed us a letter that says he works for Robert T. Page, a repeat felony drug offender with numerous criminal cases. That's your thing? And this is our uh, second chance program? Yeah. Page's so called charity, Second Chance Childhood, is not even registered. And the letter kids are using to solicit was written by U.S. Congressman Danny Davis's office. It is scandalous. It is shameful. It should never be done. Congressman Davis was outraged to see kids and his name being used this way. We don't know any more about them. This guy here, never met him? I've never met them. And you don't have your stuff with you? No. This teen works for Terrell Brown, who runs another candy sales operation called Kids of America, Inc. Seriously, if you're a real charity, why don't you take off? He picked up a rock when we asked for his credentials, so we called police. Oh, here come the cops. Okay. Brown is a repeat felony offender. Crimes include drugs, domestic battery, and contributing to the delinquency of a child. Terrell, this is Dave Savini from Channel 2 News. I didn't know who you was. Were you going to hit me with that rock? No, sir, not at all. Police caught him using these children, too, and cited him for illegal solicitation. Why don't you have the permits to be out here tonight? To be honest with you, sir, I, was, I wasn't aware of no permits, sir. Terrell Brown has been cited for doing this in Wheaton, Glendale Heights, Villa Park, and other suburbs in Cook County, too. In the case of Robert Page, Congressman Davis says his staff member wrote a constituent letter acknowledging Page's work in the community without checking out to see if the charity existed. We were unable to reach Page for comment. So how do they keep getting away with it? They basically just get a slap on the wrist, a small fine, and the kids make thousands, so they can afford that. Well, so, sure, and it's such an easy sell. You see a kid selling candy, of course you want to help out, and sometimes you don't even think to question it. You just think it's got to be for the right motives. Right, and there are a lot of good charities out there that have to follow the rules. They should, too. But despite the fact you've done the story on these two men, there doesn't be, appear to be any way to stop what they're doing, is there? No, with this kind of pattern, they just keep going. All right. Thank Thanks you, Dave. Them.